Recently, I've been a resident of the United States, Washington, D.C. But I'm frequent. I come up regularly. I just came back a few days ago. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome back. Uh, we love seeing you around us, and I know our viewers, uh, they will learn one thing from the other from this discussion today. And that's why I say much time shared with you so that we and be relaxed and at the same time discuss so that they can discuss uh, you know, can I want to think of the other. Uh, I recollect very well that Royal Valley Hotels and Resort was officially open for business sometimes in October 2016. Right? Okay. And since that time, I have seen a lot of expansions going on day after day. Works have been going on. Can you discuss these expansions? What are these expansions meant for? And what are the benefits available to your patrons, to the patrons of Royal Valley? Thank you very much. Yes. Actually, we have our goals. Okay. And when we started, uh, we know we are going to reach our potential. Okay. And that's the reason why you are noticing uh, development, progress from time to time. As you can see, we have about four acres of land of which we have not even used up to three 
contacts. So from time to time, you'll be seeing development, you'll be seeing progress, because we still have some other things that we need to do that we have not done yet. Uh, in particular, now, is there any one you are targeting, maybe to reduce the target, maybe to go for the, um, the hotel and so Because I saw a new uh, you know, construction you know, while I was walking around. Is there any particular thing you are targeting? Yes. Actually, we are targeting, as you can see, we don't have a the standard one. We have started one already. It's in progress. So by December this year, we want that to be to be issue. The operations will be yet to be operational. Probably around November or December. It's at the other side of the of the river. So we just started and it's going to continue on the phase. Okay. Again, there's another building that we have going on. The roofing is at the roofing stage right now. There, we want to establish another restaurant and bar okay. that we accommodate more than 100 guests at a time. At a time. So that one is also ongoing. ongoing. Hopefully, that will be in two or three months with the fence. Uh, is there another thing maybe like uh, we, the young ones like us, uh, like to do some clubbing? Uh, you have been <laughs> for people, uh, I, 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 you know, so young at heart like, like, like us. Actually, by like this approach, I want to be in the prison number two weeks. Number two weeks? Is it? We, are, we are working on it right now. So uh, the club should be in the prison number two weeks. Time. So which means I can get my dancing shoes Oh, ready. yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, we also noticed that there is a change in the management staff of this hotel and resorts. Uh, I don't know if you would like to share what's responsible for this with us. Well, in every business, there will be initial challenges. In the beginning, we have some challenges from security, customer service, to management, to accountability and everything. And that led to management. And we thank God that right now, Changed. The sales has tripled, and the service, you know, even though we are not at the stage that we actually want to be, but we are the right part, and we are almost there. The most I can testify to that because um, why you are not here, I do come here once in a while, you know, I like it to enjoy myself. Too. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you haven't, Please log on to youtube.com and search for Ifakoja in television with. Click the red button and please do not forget to turn up. You can also connect with us on any of our social media platforms, website www.ifakojaetv.com, Twitter at Ifakojaetv, Facebook Ifakojaetv Lagos, Instagram Ifakojaetv, email address Ifakojaetelevision at gmail.com. My name is Mr. Padamala. And I am those Ifa Television. Ifa Television, the pride of the people. Ifa Koyjaye, Ifa Koyjaye, Television. Ifa Koyjaye, Ifa Koyjaye, Television. Bamba la janta awo kilumo oluwa lo fi ronwa ade o ki o jote ye ke ye. Emma wo, Emma wo, Ifa Koyjaye Television. Make sure you go, Emma go. Ibako, Ijai, television. Make sure, make sure, uh, make sure. Oh, you come back. Uh, make sure, oh, Kolo, Lord, you me just, Drozori, W.
de miyu, de miyu, touch. I fako, I jaye. Television, touch. Come. Thank you. Viewers at home, yes. Glue your eyes mm, to no other st station except Ifako Ijaye Television. That is what everybody watch now. Don't touch the dial. Ifako Ijaye TV at double. Don't www.ifakoijayetv.com. Ifako Ijaye, Ifako Ijaye Television. If I TV, if I TV, if I TV, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, guys. Okay. So now, considering the location, the size, and the Royal Valley Hotels and Resort. How has the uh, patronage been so far? I think you mentioned something passing that the sales are actually true. You want to expatiate on them? So we have to thank them. Okay. We thank them for the We thank them for the wisdom. We thank God for giving us the vision to choose this location. So at the beginning, uh, you can only really compare it yeah, when you first got here. But now you can see yourself. I know, sure. There have been a lot of developments around this place. Uh, we have new market over here that we just got over here. And uh, everywhere you can see the development, you can see everything. And the only important thing we notice now is to improve the road system, system which we are already a part of. And uh, by the grace of God, in a year's time, this road will be like an express. Because uh, that's the only thing lacking right now. So there will be a lot of development, and uh, we've done a lot of outreach. People are going to go very about Okay, Nick, I can see that you have the infrastructural challenges. Uh, and I can see that the hotel that is actually doing most of the infrastructural development to, towards the hotel. Is there anything the government, especially the local government, they have you actually contacted them and they you know, promised to do something and are they fulfilling their promises? Actually, I would meet with the local government officials on several occasions and they've expressed their intentions to help but because of the lack of funds and this and that, they were handicapped. They are not able to do much in that area but they've been giving us their moral support. Maybe the local government uh, uh, people they are listening to us, you need to do more than moral support. Because when you are in office, it is not moral support that feeds you or feeds uh, your family. You need more than moral support. The infrastructural uh, you know, development of this area is very, very important. And that is the problem we have with you politicians. When you want to campaign, you come to us, you tell us to do this. We are in the office, you now giving us resources, uh, uh, funds, no funds, but that funds, when it comes to your salary, you get the funds. So please do something regard, as regards infrastructure development towards this hotel. This is a big hotel, and I think, at uh, which I know by now you must have been bringing your tax bills and all the rest. Uh, so do something in the, in the area. Um, we observe that you are not interested in politics. Whereas you have a lot of your friends, close associates who are into politics, and going to politics, and me very close and who are highly rated in, uh, when you talk of politics. Why are you not so interested? Is there any reason behind it? Um, I have to be honest with you, I was going to politics. 
my dad, I grew up to know my dad, politician, and everything. And after the village with him, we are all politicians. The only thing is that we play politics in different ways. And the way we embrace politics is different. I'm not a partisan politician in the village. And the reason why I'm not involved in politics is because of the environment, our belief, the way we practice politics, the, the security risk involved in politics is the only reason why I decided not to join partisan politics in the area. I've done a little bit of politics in the United States. I've been president of Osuna in the years of the season, and I've been uh, president of so many associations. You can call that politics, right? Because you are controlling a group of people. But the way I look at politics in Nigeria, it is very dangerous. Because people look at it as a way of life or death. Life, life or death. Life or death. And I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that at all. Even though I'm a philanthropist, I do. And I believe that I don't have to be a politician to reach out mm -hmm. to the people, to help the neighbors, to do some other stuff. I don't believe that you have to be a politician to do all that. And I'm doing a little bit of that for a year and a year. I know I'll be a politician. So as of now, I will I have partisan politics out completely. Completely. Okay. 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 From you, from the statement you made, you say as of now. So can we confidently assume therefore that uh, in the nearest future you will not be involved in partisan politics? Or you are just pulling it out for well, now? At my age, I can tell you mm -hmm. it's over. It's over. I can be a politician, active politician of the government. Okay. I want to go into short term, your short term goals for the future. In the next two years, where do you see? We have value with us and results in the next two years. Thank you very much. Uh, most of the goals we are almost in goal. Our main goal is to make this hotel a 24 hour, uh, 24 hour electricity uh, supply. So we are here seven. already. Mm. At least over one and a half years, we have not seen a uh, blackout here at this hotel. Before we have. Uh, Brand new generator. We have uh, solar energy and electric supply has yeah, even improved. So that's those are three sources of power that we have. So we have accomplished that area. No blackout, no anything. You can come here anytime day or night, and uh, you can be rest assured that you will have electricity. 24-7. So, 24-7. That's our first goal, which we accomplished on our one and a half years ago. So, as you can see, you can never, uh, there's always going to be room for improvement. You can never be, there's no perfect system. There's no perfect system. So we have to keep on improving. That is why our policy is to have maintenance culture. Okay. Maintenance culture. The way you see this place today, we want you to come back in five years' time and still see, see it the same way. Not like when you came five years ago, uh, we do this deal, there's no more deal. So we don't want that to happen at all. Okay. We want to keep on Improving, improving, improving. And sky is the limit when it comes to improvement. Okay, uh, our special host, I have, a, I have a special question for you. 
Salamu alaikum ya wahsa. Kuna kalan wani shirin da ake yi akan television ifako ijaye television shine ko ake kallon yanzu malan shehu she ka kallo Halaji Aruna she ke kallo mama mamun Kausara he ta ke kallo mama Aisha ifako ijaye television take kallo ko kalle ifako ijaye television akan yanan gizo www.ifakoijayetv.com Wanaka kalo ifako yai tv doctor ifako ijaye ifako ijaye television ifako jaye tv ifako jaye tv ifako jaye keep watching keep watching keep watching guys banda la janta awo kiluma oluwa lo fi ronwa ade oki ojo teye keye Emma wo, Emma wo, if I go jai television, make sure you wo, Emma wo, if I go jai television, make sure, make sure, uh, make sure, oh, you come back, uh, make sure, oh, Kolo, Lord, you will meet just the Rosary W, 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 touch, if I go jai. Television dot com. Thank you. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you haven't, please log on to youtube.com and search for Ifakojai Television Blitz. Click the red button to subscribe. And you can also connect with us on any of our social media website www.ifakojaitv.com, Twitter at Ifakojai TV, Facebook Ifakojai TV Lagos, Instagram Ifakojai TV. Email address ifakojai television at gmail.com. My name is Mustafa Damlala and I head those ifakojai television. Ifakojai television, the pride of ifakojai, ifakojai television. Ifakojai, ifakojai television. Banda la janta awo kiluma oluwa lo fi ronwa ade oki ojo teye keye. And you have lived there for decades. Now, assuming that in your motherland, you are made the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by consensus for just one year, one year, not more than one year, what would be your achievable priorities within that year? Thank you. Actually, I believe. Government cannot do everything. But if I have the opportunity to rule this country, I'm being and uh, having the knowledge of what the masses are going through. My first priority will be job creation. Because when people have jobs, there are, there are problems. This one is mm. it's absolute. Almost solved. Almost. So security is another thing. Of life and problems. Very, very, very important. Like for instance, our economy should be 24 hours. But because of lack of security, our economy sleep at times. For instance, by 7 or 8 o'clock in the night, you will hear people saying, it's too late, no, you cannot travel to Ibadan to tonight. It's because of security. That means the economy is sleeping. sleeping. Look at the United States of America. It's 24 hours. 24 hours. They probably do more at night than during the daytime because they know they travel at night, nothing will happen to them. All the trailers that carry food, that supply food to the uh, department stores, they all 
I travel at night. So in Nigeria here, our economy sleep a lot because of security. I will do everything possible to improve the security, improve electricity, improve job. I will make sure that whoever is looking for work is able to find work. Um, so that is very, very, that important. Is very, very important. Okay. Uh, lastly, and on a lighter note, I want to ask this question. Um, what will you never cut without? Not never cut with. What is it that you will never be caught without? Can you expand it on that a little bit? Okay. Like, what is it that you cherish most? That any time, not necessarily material, that any time, any day, you are sleeping, you are working, whatever you are doing, that you know you will always preserve. Uh, that area is, is general. What are we always cherish is to help to assist in my own little way. That is always the top. It's always at the top of my mind. My top priority. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. We have been listening to Otuba Mike Adeniyi Adisa, who is the Chairman Chief Executive Officer of Royal Valley Hotels and Resorts. Where we are reaching you live. And like I told you earlier, the hotel is situated at number one, Royal Valley Drive, Iron Market Bus Stop, Woodley in Jacob, of Lagos Ebuta Expressway, Songo Hotel. And that is Southwest Nigeria. And in case you want to do your bookings, you need to call them. The number to call of the, uh, the number to call is 0903-826-3075. 0903-826-3075. Thank you very much, sir, for giving us your time. Thank you. And wish you all the best. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, our viewers. And uh, I want to um, show our appreciation to our crew, our crew members, uh, Emmanuel Aroboto, Samuel Faloye, Ade Pimpe, Ade Dejo, Mundano, Queen Adipo, Se, Oluwa Shemfumi, Gift, and Vivian. Thank you very much for the beautiful job that you guys have been doing. We are very proud of you. Bye-bye.